Hi, first grade. Today is Thursday, April 16th. We have four things to do in foundations. First, we'll start with our warm-up, thinking about the sounds that we know. Next, we'll play that pirate game. Then, we'll review those trick words where you'll try to, to beat me at reading them. And last, we'll do a dictation with three words and one sentence. Before we start, I want to give a teacher shout out to Eosius. Look at his amazing work. Nice job. Even without the foundation's lines, your, your writing looks really neat. Remember, when you mark that it's a closed syllable, you make that little mark, but you also have to uh, underline or scoop the word and put a C, so you're telling me it's a closed vowel. Nice job, Eosius. Remember to keep sending in your work so I can feature you on the presentation. Okay, let's remind ourselves of the vowel teams we know. These vowel teams you'll see a lot in your reading. Repeat after me. A, I, bait, A. A, Y, play, A. E, E, jeep, E. E, A, eat, E. E, Y, key, E. Nice job. Now let's remind ourselves of the glued sounds that we know. If you know the motion, do it with me. A, L, L, ball, all. A, M, ham, am. A, N, fan, an. A N G Fang Ang I N G Ring Ing O N G Song Ong U N G Lung Ung A N K Bank Ank I N K Pink Ink O N K honk onk. U N K junk unk. Nice work. Just to remind you, when we see that it's a closed syllable with one vowel with letters closing it in at the end, this is how you mark it. You put that little breve or smile mark above the vowel, and you can underline or you can scoop the word and put that C underneath. Now let's play. Remember, during this Pirates game, you are deciding if it's a real word or a nonsense silly word. Here we go. We're going to see if we can get five coins today. Arr, my hearties. Read the words and keep the good ones. Let's see. Hmm. Tap it out. What's the word? Striff. Strith. Hmm, is that a real word or a nonsense word? Rah! Well done! Oh, good, we have one coin, let's see. Hmm, tap it out. What is the word? Drep. Drep. That's a nonsense word. Rah! Well done! Hmm, tap it out. What's the word? Drap. Is drap a real word or a nonsense word? Nice ah, job. Well done! Ooh, this one's tricky. It has a three consonant blend here. Tap it out. What is the word? Scren. Is scren a real word or a nonsense word? Rah! Well done! One more word. Here we go. Oh, there's our vowel team. E, E, Jeep, E. Go ahead, tap it out.
What's the word? Bleed. Is bleed a real word or a nonsense word? That's a real ah, word. Well done. Nice job. Let's go back to our presentation. Before you get your whiteboard out, let's do some tr a trick word review. Remember, this is just five quick words. Your job is to say it quicker than Miss Thompson does. Get ready, get set, they, when, come, I bet I beat you that time, could, number, nice job. Okay, get out your whiteboard and marker. You can set it up like always, three spaces for a word and one space for a sentence. Today I am not going to um, give you a hint about how to mark it up. Your job is to mark it up all on your own and send a picture to your teacher. Here we go. The first word is the word just. I was just thinking about that. Just. Tap it out. Just. Please mark it up. The next word is the word mend. You can mend those two things together. Mend. Tap it out. Mend. Please mark it up. Mend. The last word is the word crash. I hope that you don't get into a crash. Crash. Let's tap it out. K -er -ash crash. Please mark it up. There's three things to think about for marking that one up. Okay, our sentence today is a little long. It's kind of a challenge. Let's see if you can get it. The sentence today is, Tom set up the drums for the band. Tom set up the drums for the band. That's eight words in your sentence. Remember, you can always pause if you need more time. Tom set up the drums for the band. Tom set up the drums for the band. Tom set up the drums for the band. Nice job. Please mark up your words and your sentence and send a picture to your teacher. We will see you tomorrow for Fun Friday where we get to do a really great science activity together. I can't wait.